Welcome to lesson 6.2. In this lesson, we're going to focus back in on some graphing. Now we're going to start by doing some pretty simple graphing. So let's start right here. I want to graph r equals 4. This means I am graphing all the points 4, comma, theta. So the radius is always 4, but theta can be anything it wants to be. So that would put my graph at 1, 2, 3, a circle that has a radius of 4. That circle always has the same radius, but it includes all the thetas that exist, all the thetas that are possible. So that's how we would graph something that looks like r equals. So what about if r is negative? r equals negative 3 root 2. Well, it's actually going to be the exact same process. So, even if r is negative, it's still going to be graphed as a circle that has a radius of 3 root 2. If you put 3 root 2 into your calculator, you'll get a decimal that's a little bit more than 4. I'm going to go a little more than 4. And draw my circle. So even if the radius is negative, it's still just graphed as a circle with that radius. Now let's try one when it's just theta equals. So I want to go to theta equals 5 pi force. So let's start there. If I figure out where 5 pi force is, I've got 1 pi fourth, 2 pi fourth, 3, 4, 5 pi fourths is going to be right there. So there is theta equals 5 pi fourths. However, when I go to graph this as a point, r can be anything it wants to be, meaning r can be positive or negative. So this is the line if our radius is positive. But remember, if the radius is negative, all that does is put it across the circle. So then I've also got this half of the line. And that would give me the graph of theta equals 5 pi fourths. So if it's r equals, it looks like a circle. If it's theta equals, it looks like a straight line. Now what about if theta is negative? Well, let's figure out first off where negative 3 pi halves is. Remember if we are negative, then we're going clockwise. So clockwise 1 pi half, clockwise 2 pi halves, clockwise 3 pi halves. So right there would be negative 3 pi halves. This would be if I had a positive radius. If I have a negative radius, it would go across the circle. So that would be the graph of theta equals negative 3 pi halves. So that is some pretty simple graphing where we just graphed a couple examples of only r equals and only theta equals. For the rest of this lesson, we're going to get into some more complicated graphing, like r equals 6 cosine of theta. For the rest of this lesson, you will be using a calculator and a t-table to graph these things. So that is all I'm going to say for this video. Grab a calculator, and I'll meet with you in the next video to start graphing some more complicated functions.